Welcome in this new session. In this session, we will discuss the second parameter of water quality, which is called electrical conductivity. Let's understand this parameter and elaborate more about how to measure it and which type of representations we have for electrical conductivity. Let's start together and dive in. Electrical conductivity is simply defined as the measurement of the ability of a solution in our case water to conduct electricity so it's represented as siemens per meter s per m or sometimes it, and most commonly represented as micro siemens per centimeter this is a most common in our activities and uh, measurements of water electrical conductivity is well connected with tds why because as you know if we have higher level of salts it dissolved in your water those salts have higher ability to transfer the electrical charge between the two electrodes so as a rule of thumb when the tds total dissolved solids of your water increases that means the electrical conductivity of the water increases vice versa if your electrical conductivity of the water increases that means you have higher level of the dissolved solids TDS in your water keep that very important fact in your mind also in order to have a scale in your mind the deionized water or distilled water has a conductivity less than 0.5 micro siemens per centimeter at 25 degrees celsius why we have mentioned here the temperature because it's like ph ph and electrical conductivity are related to the, and well connected with the temperature so when we have as we discussed previously when we have higher temperature the ph goes down and here when, you, when i have higher temperature the conductivity is going to increase so always keep that fact in mind you cannot measure ph and conductivity and even other parameters without taking care about the temperature at which temperature you are measuring the conductivity okay generally uh, the conductivity of drinking water is ranging between 200 to 1000 uh, in, in micro siemens per centimeter in some cases between 200 to 500 in other cases between 200 to 800 but a bit wider range between 200 to maximum 1000 micro siemens per centimeter while if we compare this drinking water with seawater seawater conductivity can reach up to 50 even plus 50000 micro siemens per centimeter simply and there's another new question how we measure p uh, con electrical conductivity let's assume that here we have two electrodes and we are planning to send an electrical charge from this electrode to that electrode so number one we need to know the surface area surface area of, of, each, of each electrode number two we want to know the distance between those two electrodes and based on that and other voltage uh, impressed voltage and other parameter we can simply calculate the conductivity and there is a very important notice when we discuss the condu con conductivity uh, especially when we deal about when we identify the tds total dissolved solids and we notice that we have different ways to measure conductivity and tds through a conductivity meter we will discuss about some important points this is an example of the relationship between conductivity and temperature so as much as temperature increases the conductivity is increasing for the same water quality so let's assume that you have this water and once you increase the temperature of this water the movement of ions as we can see here the movement of ions between two electrodes will be higher since we have higher temperature so the movement of ions will be higher that means it, it's gonna easily transfer the electrical charge from this electrode to that electrode okay so this is an example of the conductivity electrode or bob so here we can see that there are different types of ions inside the solution and as much as we have more ions the transfer of the electrical charge from this electrode to that electrode will be higher that means we have higher conductivity that's why we discussed earlier 
when you have higher salt levels that means you are gonna have higher electrical conductivity of your water okay so keep that fact in mind now in this case we can see that we only represent all the salts as na plus and cl minus but what if we have other forms or types of ions we will see that later and how is that going to affect on your conductivity results there are two ways to measure electrical conductivity of any water system whether it's desalination boiler wastewater cooling system so simply here these are portable or lab scale conductivity meter this is one of the best ones used widely which is called myron 6p uh, ultrameter this these are other two units for different company like hack and there are other companies those are bench scale or portable scales so you can use it in different applications uh, if you want to do a field visit if you want to conduct a conductivity tests on on site so you can use these portable or um, bench scale conductivity meter and there are other online analyzers of conductivity such as hack and many other company you can buy it from you, your local or international supplier and you can just insert that rub in your system for example it's a drinking water line it's a cooling tower it's a closed cooling it's a desalination plant feed water or in any other application so you can get continuous reading of conductivity and most of these in instruments can measure as well the temperature because as we discussed conductivity is well connected and dependent on temperature when the temperature increases the conductivity is going to increase so and some of these instruments as well has the ability to measure along with the conductivity uh, the TDS total dissolved solids through a mathematical conversion we will discuss it when once we reach the part of TDS total dissolved solids in the coming sessions so here we have two examples of online analyzers and as well as lab and portable instruments i hope this part of conductivity was clear conductivity is a very important parameter you need to understand some basic facts number one the conductivity is related to temperature so whenever you measure the conductivity you have to take care about at which temperature you did the measurement number two con when conductivity increases you can expect that the water quality is going down so you have higher level of salts you have higher tds as well you have higher level of ions such as chloride such as in some cases hardness some in other cases alkalinity so you need to consider that point and the third point that you need to measure your conductivity through portable instruments in the field in the lab or you can do have an online analyzer and it's going to give you a graph of conductivity versus time this important parameter we need to understand it especially when you have operation and maintenance for different water systems and even in some drinking water they just highlight for you how much the conductivity electrical conductivity for that water just a small note you have noticed me sometimes i'm saying electrical conductivity and, some, and sometimes i'm just saying conductivity for water treatment people or experts or engineers we don't refer as electrical conductivity because we mean it as electrical conductivity so simply we say conductivity internally we mean electrical conductivity okay so whenever you have an expert or you you hear that water conductivity that means we are looking for water electrical conductivity hope it's clear and let's go to the third parameter which is total dissolved solids TDS. Thank you.